All right, what is up, everybody? We are live. Uh, hey, it's Dan Bear here. I want to go live real quick and talk a little bit about planning and planning ahead. Okay, um, if you are investing, you are probably no stranger to planning and having goals and having a structure around what you want to do. In fact, you probably need that in order to have the amount of success that you've had in order to do any deals at all, right? And if you're still working on getting your first deal, you probably, yeah, had to go get educated and join a coaching program or buy the book or do whatever. You had to have those goals in place in order to get out and get the knowledge that you need because obviously like the knowledge for real estate investing is not super common. So you're probably no stranger to goal setting. But what I'm going to tell you is that you really need to be in touch with the numbers on your goals and on what your investor business is doing and on what your marketing is doing. You need to be in touch with those numbers pretty much every day. Now, this is a little bit different from stuff I've said before because I'm a big believer, like I do a lot of AdWords and we do a lot of Facebook ads, we do SEO, right? Search engine optimization for motivated seller leads. And one of the things we always say is you have to be very careful what you look at, okay? So for example, um, if you were a stock market investor, you wouldn't want to look at, you know, depending on what kind of investor you are, you're not typically going to want to look at the stock market every single day. If you look at the amount of ups and downs that your portfolio is going to do every single day, you're going to make yourself miserable and you're actually going to make way worse decisions and make less money over time, right? This is just a universally, well, maybe intellectually accepted truth. We don't usually do it. A lot of people look at their stock market every day, right? But you're really not supposed to look at it every day. You're supposed to buy and hold, let it ride, right? Now, for investing and your marketing, that's also generally too, if you, generally true as well. If you're running AdWords, for example, you do not generally want to look at your AdWords account every single day because those numbers are going to go up and down. Your cost per click might go up or down. You might get no leads one day and 10 leads another day and three leads another day and nothing for a week and who, you know, who knows, right? A lot of randomness is built into any marketplace and AdWords is a marketplace. Facebook ads is a marketplace, even direct mail. It's a marketplace of attention, right? So there's a lot of randomness built in there and you don't wanna get sucked into that. But you do wanna have an idea of whether your trend line is going where you need it to go. And one of the things I like to do is have what I call a data pulse. Now, a data pulse is the speed and regularity with which you check in on the data that you're running. So for example, if you're running ads, you might say, okay, I don't wanna check in every day, but I wanna check in every week. And I wanna check in every other day, right? I wanna check in and know what my numbers are. And you don't have to know what all the numbers are. You can pick one or two, could be number of leads, could be cost per lead, whatever it is, whatever you think is indicative of whether you're moving towards your goal. But you wanna have some regularity, some regular pulse at which you check in with these numbers. Because the reason you're doing that is because you want to understand if the trend line is positive or negative and whether you're on pace to get you to your goals. If your goal is to do three deals in the next quarter, well, all right, you can break that down into number of leads and be like, all right, I have to get roughly this number of leads every week. And then you can check in on that. It's like, all right, if I need seven leads a week, that's one lead a day. And you can check in with a regular pulse and say like, are we on track? Are we, <laughs> are we on track to hit those numbers? And if you're not on track to hit those numbers, you can change what you're doing. Now, it's, again, it's important to think about sample size, think about the amount of data you're looking at. You don't want to do this every single day. You don't want to make decisions based on fluctuation and randomness. You don't want to overmanage. But at the same time, you don't want to undermanage. So have an idea of what your regular pulse is for checking in on those numbers and check in on that, on that schedule. And that's going to do a lot to make sure that you actually hit your goal. Because what most people do is, if their goal is for the quarter, they get to the quarter, end of the quarter, and they say, how do we do? We're like, well, we missed our goal, but it's too late to do anything about it. Instead, if you check in at regular intervals, you can make sure your trend is trending the way that you want, and you can make sure that if you're not doing what you need, you change what you're doing, change your strategy, change your tactics, and get on track. And if you're not doing online marketing, Obviously, you need to do online marketing. You need to think about that, okay? So Dan Barrett, AdWords Nerds, signing off. Hope that was helpful, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Remember, check your numbers. Not too much, but check them. Cheers.